everybody you know the big daddy g show the big daddy g show look at this baby girl look at this baby girl hi kids this is dub big daddy g and welcome to dub big daddy g show today i have a cute little girl her name is talia and as you can tell she is just a sweetheart and she's trying to sleep on my shoulder see now you're wondering how can I get a dog just like Talia hmm well what you got to do is you got to go to the Austin Pets Alive and you can actually get Talia okay they open at 1130 tomorrow and they're open till from 1130 to 7 I believe and uh, if you want Talia that's where you got to go so uh, what I want to do is I want to introduce Mary and Hannah and they're from the Austin Pets Alive organization. And come on in, guys. Come on in. I'm going to try to stand up a little bit oh, to welcome you all yes. to come in. Thank you. Hi, Hannah. So nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Nice to it's kind of hard to stand up. But my, mother raised me. my mother raised me right, so I'm supposed to stand up when the lady walks in the room. Right, Talia? Right. So, kids, this is Talia. And Talia, where did you guys get Talia? Do you know? I mean, obviously, it was from they were going to euthanize her. Right. Uh, so, so Austin's uh, Austin Pets Alive is a little unique in that uh -huh. we don't intake from the general public. Right. Um, we actually pull from euthanasia lists and in uh, mm -hmm. shelters around Austin. It's where okay. we get our animals. So, Talia came to us from um, a shelter around mm -hmm. uh, around the Austin area. Okay. Um, she probably won't be with us for long because yeah. she's an adorable puppy. Yes. Um, sort of a heartbreaker. Yeah. Um, but she's just. You know, she's a young sweetheart. Yep. And she likes Cartier wallets. <laughs> you see that? She likes Cartier. She has good taste. Good taste right? She has good taste. So, um, Talia, how old is Talia? Do you know? More or less? Yeah, she's about two months. About two months mm -hmm. old? Gosh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she's so sweet to hold, too. So, if you kids, mm -hmm. if one of y'all needs um, a puppy, um, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Can you, oh, what, baby? What? <laughs> what? 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 Oh, you want ice cream? You can't have ice cream. You get pizza? No, you can't have pizza. She's so adorable. Expressive face. She's, a, <laughs> all of that she's from so one adorable. Look. <laughs> so, um, tell me a little bit about uh, about yourself, and uh, and then tell me a little bit about yourself, and then tell me about Austin Pets Alive. Sure. So, uh, I'm Mary Herwald. Uh -huh. I'm the director of marketing communications at Austin Pets Alive. Okay. Uh, and I love what I do because it means working with um, Talia and old dogs and puppies and kittens mm -hmm. and cats and um, of all shapes and sizes and conditions. So I consider myself lucky. Yeah, um, I'm Hannah Horstman. I'm the events and outreach manager at Austin uh -huh. Pets Alive. And I think I have a really cool job because not only do I get to um, work with these dogs and cats and puppies and kittens and be part of saving their lives, but I also get to work with this awesome community that we have that is so supportive of APA mm -hmm. and uh, get, to know, get to know businesses and organizations and, and, uh, and the community. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys uh, are being sponsored. You guys have an event coming up this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason you guys are here today is uh, we actually had another show uh, scheduled for today. And I told Tyrone, when I found out about your Paddle for Puppies, let me tell you how I found out real quick. Um, I, um, uh, there was a lady a long time ago uh, that needed some help moving a, an armoire from her garage into her house. So me and Tyrone went and helped her, and Tyrone noticed that she had all these drums. So she gave us one of her pamphlets because he was wanting to take lessons. Oh so gosh. I looked her up uh, because I wanted to have her on the show, come on the show. And I looked up her schedule and it said Paddle for Puppies, <laughs> that, that she was going to be doing the event. I love and that. And I said, well, uh, and, I, and I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. So I looked more into the Paddle for Puppies and then I told her, and I said, dude, we got to do this. We got to cancel the well, show we and do this show. It. Yeah, no worries, no worries. <laughs> and this particular event, that's going on uh, this coming Sunday, and you have to register at what time? Uh, the kickoff is at 645. 645. So you can register in advance. Uh -huh. It's a quick $40, uh -huh. <laughs> um, and then you get to paddle or float um, yeah. Town Lake with around 300 other friends <laughs> um, nice. and their animals. It's a nice. really 
special experience and it's an early morning, but it's completely worth it. Oh, and yeah. um, the event is put on by Austin Subaru. Um, Yay, it, Austin Subaru! Yes, they are You rock, amazing. guys. You rock. <laughs> uh, and it's the sixth year that they're, they're doing this. Awesome. Um, it's bound to be the best. Nice. Um, and kicks off at the Rowing Dock, who's yeah. the other sponsor of the event. So. Awesome. It's and, not one um, to be missed. Yeah, and your $48 registration fee does go to the Parvo Puppy Program. Mm -hmm. So so you will be part of saving animals' lives by by coming out for fun. And you do also get a really cool Paddle for Puppies t-shirt. <laughs> oh, nice. And this $40, is that tax deductible? The $40? Uh, yes. I believe so, it is? yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It awesome. Is. Well, because you guys are a nonprofit, usually mm -hmm. just about any money that you get is, is uh, tax deductible. Mm -hmm. So you see 40 bucks, you get a t-shirt, and you get to hang out with about 300 other people with dogs. So, and you're saving and, lives. Um, so please try to come out here and uh, on this coming Sunday, which is why we canceled the show for this week, because their uh, <laughs> event is this coming Sunday, so we wanted to, to, to do a shout-out for them, and, you know, or rather do a show. So here we go. We're going to play a clip. This is for one of four. So kids, you're about to get educated. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> Ellen Jefferson. I'm the executive director of Austin Pets Alive, and we are here at the fifth annual Paddle for Puppies. Super excited because the proceeds from this event benefit one of my favorite programs, which is our Parvo Award, and we treat about 500 puppies a year through that award, and so the funds go a long way to allow us to offer life-saving treatment. Those puppies have about a 90% save rate with us, and we go and find great homes for them. So we are really excited to be able to save their lives, to be able to partner with Subaru, and participate in this awesome event. Ready? with Rowing Dock and we've just finished our fifth annual Paddle for Puppies event. We've raised over $20,000 today and it benefits Austin Pets Alive's Parvo Puppy Program so we're so thankful for everybody that came out and made a donation today. Special thanks to Austin Subaru and all of our other vendors that came out and helped us support the event today. It's been wonderful and we had about 250 people on the water today. Lots of wonderful pets, happy puppies. Uh, we can't wait for uh, next year. Kids, I don't know if you can see this puppy's face, but her name is Talia, and she is available for adoption tomorrow at 1130 at uh, the Austin Pets Alive, which is right near the uh, YMCA on South Lamar and Cesar Chavez. Correct. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what does it cost to, uh, to adopt a dog down there? So it, it depends on a number of things, mm -hmm. a puppy, adult dog, mm -hmm. um, if there's anything particular happening with the dog, but um, generally puppies are between $160 and $250. Okay. And do you guys have any kind of program that helps people that maybe don't have the whole amount? Um, do you guys have any kind of like a scholarship, like, you know, how some places have scholarships and stuff? Uh, do you guys have any kind of program like that that'll help people? To do that? We do have a number of um, adoption events throughout uh -huh. the year. Okay. Um, especially with our cat program. They run them mm -hmm. right now. They have catter days. Catter days. Um, and you can get <laughs> discounted adoption <laughs> fees. Uh, and this past weekend, we did just have a huge um, Clear the Shelters adoption event uh, mm -hmm. where we adopted out nearly 150 animals. So there are key points throughout the year okay. um, at which you could find discounted adoption fees. Nice. So start saving your money. <laughs> but look at this adorable puppy. All right, so um, we're going to show you another clip real quick. 
Um, this is clip number two, so we're about to educate you a little bit more. So sit back and relax. Back in the mid-2000s, it's a hard time to be a homeless pet in Austin. In the few years before Austin Pets Alive started saving animals, over 14,000 animals were killed per year. <coughs> Traditional animal welfare groups, the ones that had been there for a long time, didn't see no-kill as either something that could be done or even something that was worth attempting. started as a grassroots effort when we had no funds, no facility, nothing, and in 2008 when we started ramping up to take animals, we actually thought we were going to have to take 14,000 animals to be able to get to no-kill. I said, um, this sounds crazy, this sounds undoable, but you have my complete and total support. Our goal right from the beginning was to make Austin no-kill city as fast as humanly possible. There was no large city in the country that was saving all the lives of the homeless pets. We didn't have anybody to emulate. We were kind of flying blind. We just had to create and create and pilot programs and see what worked and what didn't work. It changed from a very small organization doing advocacy to a very big organization. I definitely think that we've been successful. So since 2008, Austin Pets Alive has saved over 18,500 dogs and over 17,000 cats. So that's 35,000 lives plus that have actually been saved because of Austin Pets Alive. Without Austin Pets Alive, the city of Austin would not be a no-kill city. All those things that the city shelter cannot handle, we just, we take them automatically. We take all the parvo animals, all the neonatal nursery, bottle baby kittens. You gotta swallow, sweetie. You know, the biggest misconception that you hear, people think, oh, that, those animals at Austin Pets Live, they're there because they had significant issues. And that's not true. They're just here because somebody didn't want them anymore, couldn't afford them anymore, just, you know, all varying reasons. But it does not mean that the animals here are not worthy of being adopted. It could be looked at as a depressing place because the animals are sitting in cages. But to me, because I know that every animal that we have here was somewhere else that was at risk of, of not making it out alive, I know that this is a happy place. Our programs are innovative, our programs are able to be taught. We want it to become a nationwide initiative. No Kill should be a nationwide initiative. The national spotlight is on Austin because we're the first community to have done this at this level. If we fail, then it basically knocks back the idea that No Kill can be successful. So right now, we're the bright light for the rest of the country. The volunteers and the staff work so hard here to make sure that every animal has the best care possible. You lose a lot of yourself in it, you give up a lot of yourself in it, but every night you go home with a very full heart. You know you're saving a life with that, and it's, it is so tangible that it um, makes you want to cry. I mean, it, it's amazing, really. It's easy to forget where we've come from when you know where we are now. And it's easy to forget how recently it was that things were very, very different for animals in our community. One thing that's critically important, I think, that people understand is that no-kill is not a destination. Just because we've achieved a 90% or higher save rate in the past doesn't mean we're going to achieve it tomorrow. And that means that it's not just a one-time commitment. Adopt, 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 donate, volunteer. Um, it's very important for the community support. Austin Pets Alive, in my opinion, is, is the heart and soul of this uh, life-saving no-kill effort in Austin. And I think it's really going to be the life and soul of this effort nationally. Hi, kids. We're back. And here's Talia. If you want Talia, you got to go to the Austin Pets Alive. Dude, they got so many dogs down there. How many dogs and cats do y'all have down there right now? I mean, on site on at site. the shelter, we have we still have hundreds of animals. We have mm -hmm. hundreds in foster as well, but generally okay. we have around 160 dogs uh -huh. um, in kennels at our main location, yeah. um, and and hundreds of cats. Mm -hmm. And between our main shelter and our Terrytown shelter, mm -hmm. we've got you covered. Awesome, <laughs> and um, I. Kind of a, a str not a strange question, but um, if they go to AustinPetsAlive.org, the the website, are there pictures of the dogs and cats you oh, have? Oh, there are. We have a ah, wonderful team who makes sure nice. for your easy viewing nice. um, that all of our 
or as many of our cats and dogs, sometimes they come too quickly for us to capture, which is a fine problem to have. Uh -huh. But um, we have a wonderful team who makes sure that every animal has um, stunning bio pictures nice. and little biographies written about them in a video if we can nice. swing it. So it really helps um, promote the animals mm -hmm. and allows you to see what we have available. And nice. then you come in and spend time with the animal to make sure it's the right match. That's right. And how long does it normally take, like the procedure? Like if I go in at 11, by what time do you think I'd be out? Yeah, so it's generally a, a really quick process. We mm -hmm. try to remove um, roadblocks from getting animals into loving, happy homes. Okay. Um, so we we ask that you spend some time, mm -hmm. 30 minutes more if, if you're available, um, but you spend some time with the animal before adoption and make okay. sure it actually is the right fit personality-wise, right. um, et cetera. And uh, then you'll talk to one of our ad adoption counselors mm -hmm. um, and get the paperwork filled out, review anything you need to about right. the animal, and you'll be at the door. So. Nice. An hour, so about if an it's hour not busy. Around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so, uh, what if, yeah. <laughs> what if somebody has a dog and they want to adopt a cat? Can they bring the dog in to see if they would get along, or how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, as far as a dog and a cat go, mm -hmm. um, I don't know that we would do an actual meet and greet. We might give you some uh, pointers for how to how to invite the dog into the home. Mm -hmm. um, we do take take deep notes on the animals and so yeah. we can if somebody comes in and they say hey I have a cat at home I'm looking for a dog we can direct them to the dogs that we know are going to be better with cats mm -hmm. um, on that same note we do um, adopt your dog to dog meet and greets mm -hmm. so if you come and you meet a dog and you think okay this is the dog that I have to get in my home then we can schedule a meet and greet for your dog your already dog at home and the dog there and, and see that if they're a good fit Nice, yeah. nice. Well, I have uh, two friends. Uh, one is Nora Doc, and she lives here in Austin, and she has a bunch of animals, <laughs> and she fosters dogs, too. It's wonderful. Um, I think she has, like, four dogs and three cats and a kangaroo, and um, <laughs> and they just got a duck. So, sorry, Sean. I'm she so sorry, Sean. <laughs> Sean is her husband, and he's so cool and so patient. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> so uh, I also have a friend in a little town called uh, La Feria, Texas, or Harlingen, mm. Texas, right next to Harlingen. And he, his name is Mark Burrs, and he's been my friend since uh, I was in high school, which back then there were dinosaurs roaming. <laughs> and uh, he, at this present moment, uh, has, I believe, 19 dogs. Wow. And uh, he has wild. someone that cares for him. Um, so, I mean, he's, he's okay financially. So he has somebody that lives in just to care for the animals. Wow. Yeah. That's and incredible. Dude, at one time he had two pigs, <laughs> bunch of parrots. And I mean, he had like a zoo. And, uh, so he's down to, I think about 19 or 20 dogs right now. Wow. And I call them AAs because, uh, not like Alcoholics Anonymous, but I call them AAs because, uh, they're, I call them, uh, animal angels mm. because, uh, if they see a stray dog, you know, my friend Mark will take him in, mm. you know, and try to find him a home. And uh, so, and he's been doing this his whole life, wow. That's you know, so it's really, really awesome that he does that. Mm. Um, I think we have another clip we're going to show, Tyrone. And uh, yeah, we're going to show you guys another clip. And, uh, and so whenever, uh, whenever you're ready, Tyrone, let's roll that other clip. You're about to get educated some more. So stay <laughs> tuned. I'm Ellen Jefferson, Executive Director of Austin Pets Alive. Austin Pets Alive is a key contributor to making Austin a no-kill city. Austin's now the largest no-kill city in the country, which means that we save over 90% of the animals that come into our city shelter. The American Pets Alive Conference was created so that we can share the programs of Austin Pets Alive and programs from other no-kill communities with people from all over the country. We save the bottom 50% of the animals that come into shelters and are typically euthanized. The programs that we will share are the ones that were created to save that bottom 50%. The parvo puppies, the bottle baby kittens, the dogs with behavior problems, the cats with ringworm, and the barn cats. I'm Ryan Clinton, a local attorney in Austin and also an advocate for no-kill animal sheltering. In addition to the programs and policies that Ellen talked about, we'll also teach you how to more effectively advocate for animals in your community, how to dramatically increase adoptions, 
and also how to handle some of the most difficult challenges that your shelter faces. When you leave our conference, you will have the tools to save more lives the very next day. We look forward to seeing you in Austin and sharing our life-saving tips with you. Please go to our website for conference information and registration details. Sorry. <laughs> Kids, we're back. Um, we're going to show you another clip in a minute, uh, but we were talking about uh, Tyrone's dog, Arthur, who I say he's my dog, but he's not really my dog, but... Um, but he's such a sweet dog, and we were going to have him here, but they brought this puppy. <laughs> so anyway, listen, um, I know that I'm holding Talia, and she is adorable, and she smells really cool. But what I was going to tell you was that um, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, you can come down to the shelter and uh, adopt her. And if for some reason somebody beats you uh, there, they've got 160. We have right. so many animals. They have so many animals. From you'll be... You'll be all set. And you can go sure. to the website and look up pictures. So now we're going to show you a quick clip. I know we don't have a lot of time on the show, so but I wanted to show you this uh, clip about a conference that they're going to have. So uh, Tyrone, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we've already shown you that clip. Um, mm -hmm. As you notice, my Mexican martini has gotten lower <laughs> and lower as we come back uh, from break. But uh, now we're going to show you a clip that uh, my friend Ellen let us use. Um, and it's about a guy that uh, uh, won some money for Austin Pets and Life. It's Justin Throw. So, uh, Tyrone, you want to roll that clip? And there's Talia. <laughs> Justin Thoreau, and uh, since you're very hot, we thought we would play a quick round of one of our favorite games, Hot Hands, and the category is Celebrity Couples. A picture will come up, you have three seconds to name them and hit the buzzer, mm -hmm. and uh, but the, it'll move very, very fast. Okay. So, uh, you know. How much time do I have? Three seconds. Three seconds. And three seconds per name? Yeah, so oh per couple, and just say their first names. Okay. And uh, you just, and it has 45 seconds on the clock. If you get 10 correct, a Shutterfly is going to give you $10,000 for the charity of your choice, which is Austin Pets Alive. Austin Pets Alive, Tell, a wonderful organization yeah. in uh, Austin, Texas that's a no kill shelter that I love, and I used to go and um, pet their dogs when I would go when I was shooting in Austin. Good for you. And they are great. Austin. Let me get a little sip. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's Talia, and she's one of the many, many dogs that you can as adopt. And also, they have cats, too, right? We how, sure do. How many cats do you think you guys have right now? Gosh, I don't know how many we have on site, yeah. um, but we have a whole cattery. Uh -huh. We have a kitten nursery. Um, we have a feline leukemia adoption center. We have barn cats. We really have... Wow. The spectrum. It's pretty nice. amazing. Nice. And now um, you guys also, I, I want to do a shout out for someone real quick. I want to do a shout out to a guy named Aaron Gonzalez. And uh, I'm not related to him. But <laughs> um, Aaron Gonzalez, he's doing a, a paddle for puppies. And he's going across Texas and up the coast. And from what I understand, he's going all the way up uh, the coast, all the way to Maine. Is that right, CJ? Oh, just the Texas coast. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Maine not too long ago to eat uh, lobster ah, up there. Delicious, I'm sure. <laughs> and it's, it's benefiting Austin Pets Alive. So, Aaron Gonzalez, you're awesome. You might want to Google him uh, to see if you, can, uh, if you can find out where he's at, and uh, then you can help donate to this great cause. Hmm. So, um, let's see. What else can we talk about? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Well, so, oh, you guys have a conference coming up, right? We do, yeah. You yes. have a conference coming up. It's the American Pets Alive Conference. Okay. Um, I believe that was one of the clips that was shown, and uh -huh. it's coming up September 23rd through 25th, and it's just a really spectacular opportunity for anyone who wants to be involved or is already involved in their community mm -hmm. um, in helping it become no-kill. Okay. Uh, and you learn from Austin. Austin mm -hmm. is the largest no-kill city in the country. That's right. Um, and Austin Pets Alive has a set of really unique, innovative, um, and revolutionary, really life-saving mm -hmm. shelter programs that have contributed to that. Um, so at the American Pets Alive Conference, you will be given access to resources and um, knowledge and uh, important people in the no-kill movement across the country awesome. um, to help you turn your community no-kill. Yeah, it's a pretty neat conference. Awesome. 
And uh, where's the conference going to be held? Right here in Austin. Here in Austin? Yes. And they can just go to your website and get all the information? AmericanPetsLive.org. Okay. It will have everything you need to get registered and learn okay. more. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and um, next month, we're going to have Steve Adler, who is the uh, mayor of Austin. He doesn't know it yet, but Steve, I know you're watching. <laughs> so guess what? Next month, you got to be on the show. So, we'll bring you a puppy if you yeah, can. <laughs> we've already had him on twice, so it won't be the first time, but... Um, and we'll bring, yeah, we'll bring you a puppy to play with. <laughs> Look at this puppy, dude. Look at this puppy. She is so happy to be right here. So during the winter, she would love me because I'm just so hot. During the winter, she would just love me. But um, so, uh, again, Aaron Gonzalez is doing the Paddle for Puppy fundraiser for Austin Pets Alive. Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure that you look him up, Google him. And uh, what else? Do you guys have any other thing that you want to talk about? Sure, yeah. We have so a few minutes. The, um, the event this weekend on uh -huh. Sunday, Paddle for Puppies, is actually separate than Aaron Gonzalez's fundraiser. Correct. But um, aside from being a really fun event, um, your registration will contribute to our Parvo Puppy ICU. So okay. a lot of people um, don't know that parvovirus is really contagious uh -huh. and it's deadly for puppies uh -huh. um, around six weeks to six months old mm -hmm. but it's also completely avoidable right. um, so on the note of education um, uh -huh. ensuring that your puppies are properly vaccinated can help you avoid mm -hmm. this altogether right. um, but the puppies who do contract the disease mm -hmm. are typically euthanized in shelters um, wow. it's really difficult to care for them and mm -hmm. so we found a way to really offer this um, safety net to mm -hmm. other shelters in our community um, to save this, this amazing population of adorable puppies right, who right. deserve to be saved. And we actually have um, a 90% success rate with nice. our Parvo Puppy ICU. Nice. And the beautiful thing about it is it's completely adoptable or replicable mm -hmm. across the country. Nice, nice. So you see, they're doing good, you know? And you can donate you, if for some reason you can't make it uh, to the event this Sunday. Um, and you can bring your puppy if, if your dog uh, does well in water and around other, do around other dogs, uh, bring them down. You know, they'll have a great time, uh, especially if they love the water. So, and um, so the two, one of the two companies that's uh, helping you guys, one is Austin Subaru. Yes. And the other one is Rowing Dock. Correct. Rowing Dock. Yes. So you guys rock. Um, you know, my uh, brother Jesse had a Subaru and he loved that car. <laughs> he drove it all over the country all the time. That's I great. mean, he loved that car. Um, so Subaru is a good car, in my opinion. We agree. So, um, <laughs> So anyway, so we are having a great time with Talia. Again, this is Talia, and uh, she's uh, she's pretty much asleep right now, but she's got that puppy breath, you know. Some people don't like, but I like it. So, and she's so sweet. So she needs a home, guys. So um, if you, if you uh, want to donate to the Austin Pets Alive, you can, uh, you know, I don't know, think about it this way. Instead of having that one extra beer mm -hmm. when you go out, instead of, uh, you know, having that extra Coke when you go to a restaurant, uh, if, you know, one less cup of coffee a month, you know, let's just say it's five bucks that you donate. Dude, every little bit helps. And, you know, that one beer that you didn't have, you probably saved a life. You know, you helped save a life. So, and how could you not, how could you not do that? So think about it. It's not that big of a deal. One less Starbucks a day, <laughs> you know, and donate it to Austin Pets Alive. And it's tax deductible. So, you, you, you know, it's, well, look at this. Come on. <laughs> How can you not? Let me see if I can look at this baby. Oh, <laughs> she loves me. She loves me. So anyway, so uh, do you guys have anything else you want to talk about? I think that or, about covers it. We're okay. really excited for this weekend, um, and we're happy to share about one of our most innovative programs, first ever of its kind in the country, the Parvo Puppy ICU. Mm -hmm. um, and and we're grateful to have the opportunity to, to talk with you. Awesome. Yeah, well, you. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but we canceled the show to have you guys here because of your <laughs> event being Sunday. So I, I felt that it was Sorry, so important. I don't know yeah, that was, but it's all thank right. Thank you. It's all right. Um, I appreciate all of you. Yes. So, Tyrone, how much time do I have left? Do you know? Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so we're about to say goodbye, and Taya wants to say Viva Mexico. So there you go. Viva Mexico. <laughs> so there you go. And she's fast asleep. So, all right, kids, stay, t stay tuned next week. We got a really good uh, show for you next week. It's about somebody uh, who has been knighted. Oh. So, and you'll love this story. Awesome. I hope, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Can we all just get up on the Big Daddy G Show? Yeah, man. <laughs> Why clean your room when you can do some shrooms? The Big Daddy G Show. Hi ho, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show.